Hello everyone, CapM here, and in this video I want to get into Novavax and the great news that they announced today is sending the market higher. Also, if you'd like three free stocks when you sign up for Webull and Robinhood, check the links in the description below. So guys, getting into it, we see that Novavax announced yesterday that basically they're joining the race for the coronavirus vaccine this week, and it basically enrolled participants in its phase one trial that we can see results as early as July. Now, this is very good news right now for Novavax, and basically we see the shares trading in the pre-market 20% up around $55. So basically we see the whole market reacting right now, positive to this news that we couldn't have seen coming right now until today. And we're seeing that the uh, overall futures contracts are trading a bit higher. The individual markets though aren't trading extremely higher, they're trading a little bit higher. Now, basically we're seeing the whole world kind of react positively because we're seeing another player join the the kind of phase one trials and we're seeing that Novavax was recently supported as I spoke a week ago from the CEPI grant. So they received $400 million and that's also positive news from last week. Now, one of the things that we kind of see that distinguishes Novavax in its vaccine trials is that it's basically using adjuvant technology and this can induce a stronger response to vaccines and kind of increase the production of antibodies alongside with the coronavirus vaccine. So the phase one trial will be conducted right now in the US and if it's successful, it will extend to other countries. And we're currently seeing around 130 participants. So they're basically going to share results, I think, by July, they're saying, as the CEO said. And basically, that's when they kind of start the phase two trial, if they get decent results and kind of push the process along for the vaccine approval process. So this is overall great news for Novavax stock. We basically see it kind of distinguishing itself amongst all of the big players and this is kind of one of the stocks that I had called in my three top biotech stocks in April. And we see this stock trading extremely high after we saw all of this momentum from the potential of them creating a coronavirus vaccine. And we know the CEPI grant is kind of also backed by a Bill Gates Foundation kind of thing. And this is also great news just overall that Novavax is kind of becoming again one of these leaders alongside with Moderna, AstraZeneca, and Pfizer. So I think those would be the four main players when looking at the overall market to see who's creating a coronavirus vaccine. But Novavax today especially is kind of pumping the market and pumping itself as well. Now overall, Novavax, if you were looking to get into a trade, now right here we're going to see that we're going to have a very bullish candlestick pop up here. And one of the things that I want to look at on the short term time frame, because we're going to kind of look at the overall long term chart and the short term chart. So on the hourly time frame, one thing I want to see over here is we will pop today in the morning around the $55 mark. And if you guys wanted to get into a trade, what would I personally wait for? Well, if I'm trying to do a day trade, right? Remember, this is not financial advice. But if I am trying to do a day trade, I could wait for a kind of rebound back to the 20 exponential moving average. Because this 20 exponential moving average on the hourly chart will kind of pop up a little bit over here. And it will probably be around the 50 to 51 52 dollars range. And then we might be able to ride the stock higher back into this region. So it could be a nice candidate for a quick day trade. But overall, remember guys, it is risky. It is a biotech stock. But I do think today we will see kind of it pop. And if it does bring the whole market up, this could be decent trade for the next week. Now, one other thing I kind of want to look at is the longer term time frame and kind of seeing where we could potentially kind of pop to if we do see further support in Novavax kind of price and stock. Now, and one of the other things that I kind of want to warn you guys is kind of, this is news guys, remember, news is always so speculative. And this is the reason why we're popping today. But remember guys, it's kind of buy the rumors, sell the news. So the thing that I was talking about for, you know, a while now, for over a month now, was to buy over in this range before we did the pop. Now, this is risky. And one of the things that I did want to see kind of was a pullback into this kind of 200 exponential moving average, and then we could pop higher. But clearly that's not going to be the case right now as we're seeing that the stock is pumping up 20%. One of the things that we could see happen, right, where we don't have as much of resistance, if we do close above this region in the $57 mark, I do think we have potential to kind of retest these recent highs. Because if we do go back on the daily over here, that was an area of resistance, right? If we do go back on the daily and scroll all the way back here, we see a huge gap that hasn't been filled. Now, we don't have to fill all this gap, but maybe we do fill around, you know, the $65 range or the $70 range. And that would be an interesting, decent profit before heading back lower and testing maybe the 20 exponential moving average when kind of looking at where we can rebound backwards. But one thing I do also want to say is that on the daily chart, we are kind of seeing a downward sloping stochastic, but this will kind of pop up today. So 
Overall, I do think that there's a potential to close kind of this gap that we saw in September of 2016. And it could be that we do go up to this area and get rejected around the $83 mark. But we could also fill maybe up until the $65 mark in the near future. Maybe even today we do trend there. But again, I'm not extremely bullish on that. I don't bank on that. I don't go into trades when we're extremely overextended. But I do think that this is viable if we see further kind of positive news in Novavax stock in the near term. And if people do FOMO into it right now, guys, because remember, if you are chasing this trend, it's kind of a little bit of a FOMO right now because we haven't established a range. One thing that I did want to see on Novavax stock is kind of we trend here and we trade in this range for a while, right? Around the 37 to kind of $45 range and we kind of bounce back. And that would establish a range that we could potentially trade towards a breakout to the upside. So the reason that this is kind of not going to play out as much now is because we are going to see the stock pop. Now, it still can play out, right? We could establish a higher range in here, but the stock is going to be kind of volatile over the next few days. And I wouldn't be surprised if we do go up to, let's say, retest the recent highs of about $61. So overall, guys, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel a lot with the algorithm. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what stocks you'd like me to look at next. And thank you guys for watching. Have a great one.